Beardos, weirdos, boils and ghouls. There have been a lot of comments recently. People are really annoyed at me. Proper pissed off. Things like, But Beardo, really haunted is really, really real. And you, you being, you, you telling me it's fake makes me sad. I'm going to cry. You are wrong. There is no way he could fake any of his evidence. You've proved nothing. And to you people, I have the following message. Shut up. It isn't an opinion when I debunk his SLS. For example, when he states that a ghost's walk in, this has no dots. I've explained this many times, but for you people not able to grasp the basic concept, this is a Xbox Connect. This is an older model as it does not have dots on the joints. Yet he features videos where little demonic things are all over his house and they've got the dots on the joints. Those two things can't exist in the same video because it is different technology with a few years in between them. They don't exist in the same case in the same camera. And then also there are things like this wall is as far as the SLS can track a person. And we proved this not so long ago because Lee walked past this wall. In fact, it's probably my last really haunted video and the stick figure disappears off him. Okay, so we skip forward a bit. Lee is laying on the sofa. Look at these dots on the joints of where he is. This is from a newer Xbox Connect SLS, but this has no dots. What does this mean? Two separate programs. This has been recorded elsewhere and then overlaid. How could he achieve this? You take this secondary video into your video editing software and you mask out all the background, but that's a lot of hard work. Unless he's recorded this in front of a green screen. If he stands in front of a green screen, walks forward, and for some reason does these movements in another room, then all he's got to do is chroma key the green out and overlay this video over the top of it. If you don't know what I mean by green screening and chroma key, just Google in green screening, green screening, chroma key. In fact, the section of the video that you saw earlier, where you saw the raindrops coming down in front of me, all I used was a YouTube video, rain on rain effect on a green screen. I like chroma keyed the gray out and stuck it over the top. That's what he's doing with this. But then he undoes a little bit more. This figure, is further back than this wall. He has already proved by walking back there, it can't see this far. It is at this point that he should, this thing should be picked up. Also, look at the stance of this thing. It is Lee's outline. It is Lee's stick figure representation on an SLS. And that's not me being a divvy. That's not me just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. This is me showing you with 100% proof that what he is doing is fake. The programming, you cannot argue with SLS programming. What I am stating is scientific fact. That is not how the programming behaves. That is not what the programming can do. So you may say that I'm just throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. That's not what I'm doing. I am physically, scientifically proving to you that what he is projecting onto the screen for you idiots to drink in is complete whole shit, bollocks, poo poo. Should've worn my Mr. Grey t-shirt to say bollocks and boink, did it? Now just before I press play on this video, You hear that banging? That banging is not in my house. That banging is not a duck ghost. It is not a demon. Oh, I've just overlaid the sound. It's what he does. The banging, the, the voices, whatever you hear in his house is simple overlaid. And the fact is that he doesn't understand how sound works. For example, when he is talking and he has got this banging that he describes as very loud, very abrasive is keeping the family awake they're sleeping in caravans they're sleeping in cars because it's so loud then why does the volume in which he speaks at not raise it is human instinct that when something is loud you talk louder to be heard especially when you're projecting at the camera or a microphone which he does in order for you to hear him he doesn't change his volume at all because that banging was never there 
I'm sure I've seen this. I'm not 100 percent sure. I think this is the one where he gets chucked over and then he gets a big scratch down his neck, and then the next day the scratch is nowhere to be seen. Papa pointed it out expertly. Stop whispering. Come forward. Show yourself. Stop being a coward. Uh oh, you done gone pissed him off. <laughs> <laughs> Now you Lee's fans that have sat there and gone, how dare you laugh? He was attacked by a demonic entity. He later backtracked on that footage and said that's not what he thinks happens. How does he not think that's what happened if this demonic entity has actually, or poltergeist entity, has actually turned up in the video in stick figure format and thrown him across the living room whilst touching him? But he backtracked because he knew how ridiculous this entire thing was. And then we move on to his Alexa. His Alexa is never in the video at the same time he speaks. You never see the blue ring light up or anything illuminate around him. The entire time he's using it, he's doing this with his phone. Because he's controlling it, because he's reading a script, and he's probably, for the most part, overlaying the interactions. And he's looking at his phone to see how long he's got to leave it before he responds to answers, because he's pre-recorded the answers. Then I've had people say things like, Wait. His dog reacts, his dog chases black orbs. How do you explain that, beardo? This is my night vision camera. This is what I use on investigations. Now, while we are trudging about in the dark and we can't see where we go in, we discovered something on accident. If you have a red flashlight or a flashlight with a red lens, you turn it on, you point it at the floor, you can see where you're going, but you know what happens to the infrared camera? Nothing because it blocks out red filtered light. That's how the IR works. It blocks out infrared. Now, Mrs. Geek once spotted his son's reflection in the background of a window and he was doing this. So what was he doing? He was using a laser pointer. What color are the dots on laser pointers? Red. That is how his dog reacts. They wave a laser pointer around the bedroom. It doesn't show up on camera, so there's no editing. And then he just overlays a black orb in. I have shown you where he got the black orb. It was a green screen black orb found on YouTube. Now, let me show you something else. Now, you may think that you may have to have some special effects guru or something to overlay orbs. Let me just show this to you. Now, I have done this with Smug Puppy. I found a demonic. Uh, I found a demon that walks right to left, and that's what he did to get his daughter choked out and all the rest are in the garden. Look at this orb. Oof. Magical. You screen record this. You take it into your editing software. You key out the green screen. You zoom in on this orb. You key out the green screen. Once that's keyed out, you shrink this image down so it's a little tiny whiny orb around whatever haunted artifact you want. What Lee does, he just flips the colour of it so that the orb is black instead of white. I've recreated this in my house is haunted. I didn't invert the colours because it was pointless. But I had this exact orb float up out of my lamp and then the lamp and the cupboard start shaking. How were the cupboard shaking, Beardo? I laid on the floor out of sight and did this to the cupboard. It was an easy effect. In fact, let me just show you something here. Oh no. Oh no. There's a ghost in my room. Watch it walk at me. Holy shit. Ah, I'm terrified. Ah, I'm terrified. Kill it with fire. So there we go. There it is. A little tutorial on why, when you're calling me an idiot, you are making yourselves look absolutely ridiculous. You're making yourselves look stupid. Because what I'm doing is not, I'm not guessing, I'm not just, I think, I think, I think. This is, I know, I can recreate, I've seen how he does it, I can tell you how he does it. It is easy, it is child's play, and it takes next to no time to, to pull off. <laughs> that could have been taken the wrong way. Anyway, let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below. Maybe, if you were one of Really Haunted's viewers that have tuned in, and this video in particular has changed your mind, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll post it up in the next video for everyone to see. I appreciate all of you for commenting on my videos. Even you people that come in calling me stupid, calling me fat, telling me I need to shave, telling me I'm an idiot, telling me that my hair went out of date in the 80s. I appreciate you guys as well, because what you do by commenting and hitting the thumbs down is you're throwing interactions into the YouTube algorithm and they push my video further. You're welcome. Much love to you all. Beardo, out.